Hi, my name is Chris Don, and I'm from Los Angeles, California. I first picked up the guitar when I was about 12. I started my first band at 14, and I've been playing and jamming and gigging ever since, you know? Couldn't, couldn't think of any other way I'd be spending my time. My dad uh, played guitar when I was young, and I used to see him play. And yeah, I looked up to him, so I wanted to play the guitar. It'd be just like him, you know? And uh, had he played the piano, probably would have played the piano, but in this particular instance, it was the guitar. Lama was a good experience for me. It really refined my technique, gave me a lot of understanding about music and music theory and how to read, which are all very important things. Being a musician growing up, I came from the jam aspect. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just using sound and jamming out with my friends and having a good time, which is a good place to come from. It's good to feel, but it's good to know the mechanics, it's good to be able to explain because not only does it help the musicians around you, but it makes you a better musician all around. solo how do you solo and he looked at me and he said I don't know but you got to feel it in today's music world you're not always gonna go into a situation where someone's gonna hand you a piece of music and say here's the piece play it as it's written and you're like okay it's not like that nowadays you walk in very commonly you walk into a situation and it's here's a skeleton now give it some muscles give it some eyes give it some skin give it some soul give it a heart Give it a brain, make it think. If you can't feel it, if the music, even if it's written on paper, if the music isn't coming through you and coming out you and representing you, then in a way, you're almost not doing it. It's good to be diverse and, you know, know other types of music, not just be constricted to one genre. I was a big blues guy, but I, when I broke out of the blues and started learning jazz and funk and R&B and gospel, all it did was make me a better blues player. Knowing the blues made me a better R&B player made me a better funk player because it gave me a bigger palette. Now I know my funk, but I can pick from my blues and add some funk or add some blues to the funk or vice versa, add the funk to the blues. And that's how music evolves because music influences each other. Jimmy Page, Led Zeppelin was a big influence. Hendrix, uh, Dan Aroback, someone I look up to, SRV, you know, all these, you know, well-known guitar players, but I'm a big fan of the blues. That's where I come from. That's what I liked growing up. So I look up to guitar players also like R.L. Burnside or someone like Junior Kimbrough or Boyd Rivers who were not necessarily 
your technical guys, your guys that were the virtuosos on the block, but they played with soul. Rather than playing 20 notes just for the hell of it, you're always going to want the two notes. You're always going to want the feeling. That's the most important about important. Th that's the most important thing about music is you want the feel. <laughs> Ooh, I 